Daniel Hinuthia from the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties in attendance and we also had Garson Owiti uh, from Political Party Liaison Committee who was not able to accompany the team. And finally we had one person from the Media Council of Kenya that is Mr. Evans Teddy Oudo. So a team of 13 people uh, went to Greece and today they have finally uh, come back. And indeed, as you see behind us is the evidence of the presidential ballot uh, papers that have just checked in. This is the first consignment of 225 pallets. I don't want to speak much because I am IBC and IBC is the one that uh, is doing the election. Uh, the purpose of carrying with us the stakeholders is so that they can see with the third eye and really ascertain to the country that the process uh, was the way they have seen and I will invite them to speak. But before we do so, allow me to call upon Mr. Abdirahman Ismail to come and invite Father Mutie, who is going to read the speech on behalf of the stakeholders, the delegation that went to Greece. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Vice Chair of the IEBC. My task is really very small and simple. Uh, firstly, to say that uh, as members of the religious community under the umbrella of or within the purview of the Interreligious Council of Kenya IRCK, we are honored to have been in this visit. We arrived this morning uh, and uh, spent a week. Uh, the import of our visit has already been explained and will be read uh, in the statement. I only want to say that the statement which we are honored to have been chosen to read on behalf of the multi-stakeholder team is a consultative statement of what we found and what we saw. So it's not a, per se an IRCK statement. It involves all the stakeholders, including the various political parties that were represented in Athens, Greece uh, during the factory visit. So without uh, spending any more time, I'd like to invite Reverend Father Joseph Moutier, Chairman of the IRCK, to come and read the statement, which is a collective consensus statement of what happened at Athens. Thank you. Karibu. Thank you, Edi. Uh, members of the Ford Estates and uh, the different representation here. Allow me to greet you uh, this uh, morning good morning a small or uh, a short brief uh, statement that we all together uh, drafted stakeholders monitoring visits to to the inform lycos or hellas uh, sa factory in greece uh, the commission contracted inform lycos hellas sa to print ballot papers for the 2022 general election. The printing of ballot papers is currently ongoing in the company's premises in Athens, Greece. Article 81E of the Constitution of Kenya on the principles of election system demands that the Commission shall comply and be transparent and conduct its activities in an impartial neutral, efficient, accurate, and accountable manner. Moreover, Article 88 says that the Commission is responsible for the conducting, for conducting elections and facilitation of the observation, monitoring, and evaluation of the elections. The Commission extended an invitation to representatives of Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, United Democratic Alliance Party, Roots Party, Agano Party, 
Interreligious Council of Kenya, Media Council of Kenya, Kenya Union of Journalists, Civil Society, Elections Observation Group, Kenya Editors Guild, Office of the Registrar of Political Parties and Political Parties Liaison Committee for monitoring of the 2022 presidential ballot paper printing for quality checks and assurance. However, presidential candidates for Roots Party and Agano Party and the PPLC did not send their representatives to Greece. During the visit, the monitoring delegation was taken through a detailed profile of the inform Lycos Hellas SA company, the variety of products the company deals with in other countries including printing of bank credit cards, visa credit cards, issuing PIN numbers for banks, bank cards, drunk authentication labels, exercise stamps, ballot papers, smart ticketing, lottery, lottery, lottery coupons, graduate certificates, bills and statements. The company has over 100 years of experience in security printing and is amongst the largest in the world. Second, the monetary delegation inspected the security features imprinted on the ballot papers and witnessed printing and packaging of the ballot papers into booklets, boxes and pallets, and also labeling ready for shipment. They also verified the security features on the statutory documents printed, printed that will accompany the ballots to the polling stations. Third, the delegation was shown how in Folaikos, Hellas SA company destroys damaged ballot papers, a process that they carry out daily by use of a huge shredding machine. The company, the company has an elaborate pallet a tracking system or safety system where pallets are given codes that track them from the, uh, the factory press in Athens to cargo planes and delivery at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and all the way to the Commission's warehouse and constituencies. However, the team takes note of the printer's concern, especially on the late court rulings that laid the printing schedule. The company had planned that the last delivery date would be on the 29th of July 2022. However, due to the court rulings delay, the final de delivery date would be on the 3rd of August 2022. Currently, there are six uh, there are 65 million ballots out of the total 132 million in the commission's warehouse. These are contained, these are contained in the 143, 821 boxes and wrapped in 100 and, sorry, 1,994 pallets. Today's consignment of 225 pallets is the first batch for the presidential candidates, which we have come with from Greece, Athens. A total of 865 presidential ballot papers pallets will be ferried in for the general election exercise using both private cargo planes and commercial airplanes. The second batch of presidential, uh, presidential ballot papers of 300 pallets will arrive in Nairobi on the 29th July uh, this year, 2022, while the final consignment of 340 pallets will arrive on the 3rd of August, 2022. Today's consignment of presidential ballot papers is meant for 18 counties, namely Mombasa, 19 pallets, 
Kwale 14, Kilifi 20, Tana River 8, Lamu 4, Taita Taveta 6, Gariza 10, Wajir 6, Marsabit 10, Isiolo 5, Meru 27, Baraka Nithi 9, Embu 14, Kitui 27, Machakos 18, Makueni 12, Nyandarua 8, and Nyeri 8. In each pallet, there are about 54 boxes for a constituency and it represents one elective post. The diaspora ballot papers will also be ferried to Nairobi, to Nairobi first before being distributed to their uh, various destinations in the 12 foreign countries that the voting exercise will take place. The diaspora ballot papers will be in two pallets for the 27 polling stations and will arrive in Nairobi on the 28th of, Ju uh, of July 2022 aboard a commercial airline. The printer inform Lycos, Hellas, SA has also given the commission the dispatch schedule of all ballot papers for the other five elective positions whose delivery has been ongoing. In conclusion, the monitoring delegation is impressed and satisfied that the printing process is properly executed and the control checks put in place are sufficient to safeguard the integrity of the ballot. Thank you and may God bless Kenya. Uh, back to the Vice Chair. Uh, that was a joint statement from the monitoring delegation that went to Greece. So we'll allow a few questions concerning the ballot uh, papers, the printing, and uh, all that happened uh, in Greece, I think. Okay. Um, a ballot uh, pallet carries about 54 boxes and the content of a box is the ballot papers that are supposed to be in one polling station so a box represents one polling station and with the presidential ballot ballot uh, boxes what is contained in the box is the ballot papers for the presidential election and also the manual register is packed in there and the posters that are supposed to be uh, put outside that uh, polling station, the six elective positions. So basically it is the last box that is packed at the factory because it contains all the other statutory documents that are needed in a polling station. Yes, the commission has printed a manual uh, voter register that is parked in the presidential ballot box, the ones that are behind us. So uh, the voter register is cut into the number of voters in that polling station. So yes, it is available, but of course, the commission has also put protocols on how that manual register is going to be used. Yes, allow us not to answer that uh, because uh, we are basically for the ballot papers and uh, allow us to sit as a commission because we've been away for like four or five days allow us to sit as a commission, then I will be able to respond to that question.
Yes, that's fine. I can give uh, one representative uh, to speak, especially the ones that uh, went to the factory, to Athens, Greece. Thanks so much uh, for putting uh, our vice chair to task. But I can uh, truly tell you whatever has been there is what we agreed on, what we saw, how we found it. And I tend to believe that uh, that is the new situation, which is there at Greece and what has come back together. Thanks so much. Um, on behalf of Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Coalition, we confirm that uh, we participated in the exercise. We went to Greece. We inspected the printing and packaging of the ballot papers for the presidential position. And we are in agreement that indeed um, the process was conducted and Azimio shall also communicate further. Uh, the presidential ballot papers are being printed from one factory, from what we saw. Let me confirm that uh, the printing is being done from one factory. And by the way, by yesterday when we left, all the presidential ballot papers had been printed. The work that was remaining is packing. The other positions are all being printed from one, from one factory, which we visited. And we, in fact, saw some of those that have not been dispatched, ready for dispatch. Yeah. Uh, as soon as the court gives us a ruling, we proceed to clear to print. So most of the things have been uh, held up so that we wait for the rulings. But uh, I want to assure you that uh, once the ruling is out, we proceed to print. And that is why in the statement, uh, it has been said that the last uh, delivery was to be done on 29th of this month. But because of the late court rulings, we are going to have the last delivery on the 3rd of August, which is at the extreme, really extreme end in our operations. Well, um, as it was said, it was communication breakdown. And uh, the team that went to Greece also asked this question, that uh, company, did you inform IBC that you are delivering this thing? And yes, the company had informed the CIC team that uh, the boxes were dispatched. Remember, they dispatch uh, uh, within 48 hours before they land here. So yes, IBC was notified. But as it was said, it was communication breakdown that the same information did not trickle up to the commission. So the next question whether that is the reason why we are chosen? No, I am the vice chair of the commission and it was important that I go and see and also certify before Kenyans that indeed the process has been done and it is clear and flawless. Yes, indeed.
Yes, uh, 3rd of August is uh, the last uh, extreme end. And of course, uh, IBC will do all that it takes to ensure that these boxes arrive uh, before the polling day. However, we have organized in such a way that the late uh, delivery of the boxes are box, uh, ballot boxes for counties that are nearby, Nairobi, Kiambu, and the like. But the far fresh uh, counties will have everything before the third. Thank you. I think we are done. We are done. Thank you very much. How many yao? Na mtazamaji ni kifurushi kingine cha karatasi za kupiga kura ambacho kimewasili kwenye uwanja wa kimataifa wa ndege wa Jomo Kenyatta na tumeona vile uh, picha ambazo zilikuwa zinaonyesha tumeona makamishna kutoka uh, tume huru uchaguzi na mipaka IBC wakizungumza na vile vile pia wale wakilishi kutoka vyama mbalimbali mbali, na miungano mbalimbali waliokuwa na wawaniaji wa urais wakisema walipata fursa ya kwenda kuangalia uh, zile shughuli za kuchapisha makatasi yale uh, kwenye nchi ya Ugiriki tukirudi hapa ndani ya studio mtazamaji kwenye sehemu jadi tulikuwa na mazungumzo yanaendelea na nina wageni wangu wawili Isabela Obara ambaye ni wakili na ni mtetezi wa haki za kibinadamu kutoka shirika la Imlo na vile vile nimeungana naye